ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Bright. Welcome to the Epic Awesome Amazing episode of the Unboxing Hoy Liberty Bit Shoot YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Just Use Linux on your computer. It's time for an insurrection. Now you're playing with power, super power. Don't throw your computer into the recycle bin. Make your computer great again. Go to www.justuselinux.com. The first thing you are going to do is you're going to type in www.justuselinux.com. If you want to, you can watch uh, brief tutorial videos, get information here make your computer like new again or you can go to how to install or download to get started so we're going to go ahead and click download now if you want to get instructions on step-by-step -step process on pretty much everything you're going to see in this video go ahead and hit click instructions uh instructions click here and you can get a pdf that's going to show you how to do everything in this video i believe now you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click download uh 64 bit and it's going to take us to the directory for 64-bit on sourceforge.net or it may take you directly to the ISO. Right now, the current um, latest release, to look over here, it says 2020-10-14. It's going to be 20.0406. 20.04.7 may be coming out soon, so check for that. Go ahead and click on this ISO file to begin the download. And it's going to say wait uh, three four minutes. And you'll hit save file. So you'll choose a place on your computer uh, to save it in this place in this case we're going to put it in the folder here it's already here so we just hit save and you can do this in windows mac linux whatever and you can save your file if for some reason that download did not work we also have alternative sources so you can go to uh, mediafire and get it there or you can go to the mindblingy.com server and try to get it off of there so here are the files on mediafire and here are the ones on mindblowingidea.com so you can try to download right here the 2.4 gigabyte file ones ending in gigabytes is going to be the one now that you've got your image downloaded you can either burn it to a disk by simply right clicking on the iso and using your dvd burning software to your optical disk or you can download a uh, vanilla etcher which is going to run faster on your flash drive as long as your flash drive is faster than a dvd drive so you go ahead and download it for uh, windows or linux or mac os and get this on your pc once you've done that, if you're using Linux, it's going to be under your accessories menu. You hit Belinda Etcher, and it's going to open right up just like this. Now all you got to do is hit Flash from File. In this case, we stuck it in Ben 6, so there it is right there, and we just hit Open Up. Then we select a target. So for our target, we're, we're going to only have the drive plugged in we want to put it onto to make sure we're not going to flash any other drive. An 8 gigabyte drive will work just fine. A 4 gigabyte drive will work just fine. You hit Select. And then you hit flash. When you hit flash, it's going to ask you for your password to confirm that you want to flash it. This jump stick is already flashed with JLinux, so I'm not going to do it. But you can do that. It takes a little bit, and then it will get done. And when it's done, you can safely remove it and plug it into the computer that you want to boot from. Now that we are plugged into the computer we want to boot from, you're going to press whatever button you need to press to boot uh, to get the boot menu on your computer and you can contact your manufacturer for that figure out how to boot from the flash stick or the dvd optical media and as soon as you start booting from that you're going to hit the tab key on your keyboard and you will see this screen if you are in the version 0.6 release rc this is what you're going to see this is something we might update in the future the menu might look different you're going to go ahead and choose english from here it's going to say ubuntu mate um, in the future it'll probably say ju linux but right now it says ubuntu mate the safest option is to go down and try ubuntu mate without installing safe graphics graphics that is the option you're going to want to choose of course this is JLinux, which is a modified version of Ubuntu Mate. So go ahead and press enter. And if this does not work, you can go back and choose the first option on the menu instead and try that. And if your computer is too slow, you can try to install it um, without trying it in safe graphics mode. All right, so once it boots up here to this wonderful screen, what you're going to do is you do want to make sure you have a good network connection. So right now we're directly wired. You can also set up a Wi-Fi connection if uh, your computer has Wi-Fi and if it is supported on this distribution. You can find out right here before you install. You can also find out about other hardware support and if everything's working or not. Uh, you can open a web browser and try that out and go to duckduckgo.com. And there you go. You can see the Internet's working. 
And you can see here we're using our Blazing Hog 4G LT internet today. And we're getting, um, I guess you'd call it more of an average or slow speed that we normally don't get. Uh, 38.19 megabytes down through our virtual machine here on Wi-Fi. And our upload is at about 20 megabits per second, which is pretty good. So that all works just fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install uh, Janlinks 20.04.6. And if you want um, Blazing Hog 4G LTE Internet, you can get $49.99 off by using the information down in the description of this video. All right. Now we're going to select English from the menu and hit continue. And we'll hit English again. We go ahead and select normal installation and check everything if this is what you want. Now, if you want only uh, GNU free software, then you would uncheck install third party um, software. But I would go ahead and leave this clicked if you want the best best functionality of your system. I would go ahead and leave this clicked if you want the best functionality of your system. Hit continue. Now you have some options here. You can erase the existing system and reinstall, possibly without uh, reformatting everything. Install alongside whatever operating system you may have. You could do it with Windows 10 or whatever, or you can erase the disk and install uh, JLinux, completely erase the disk. Whatever you do, make sure you've backed up all the files on your system before you proceed any further. And this choice will erase the disk and install JLinux. Now it is warning us that this is our last chance before we format the drive, make changes to the drives and partitions. And so we're going to go ahead and continue. All right, so next you're going to want to select your time zone. You can select all different time zones from all over the world here. We're going to select Los Angeles time zone then click continue. Now here you're going to type in your name that you want to use on the computer and your computer's unique name that does need to be unique on the network. You do not want two computers named the same. Type in a password and you can either require your password to log in or log in automatically. Now it's going to copy files and download files from the internet. And thankfully we have our Blazing Hog 4G LT internet so that shouldn't take very long. All right, now that you have completed the installation, congratulations, you're going to hit restart now. Now you're going to press enter when you see something that says to remove the installation medium. Make sure you've removed it from the computer. After successful installation, you should be able to see this Plymouth theme startup. It still says 19.04. Make your computer great again. All right, once it has started up, you're going to go ahead and click the finish install to finish install. If you have trouble double clicking it, simply right click on it and click open. Once you get it open, just read what it says. If you agree, press Y and then enter and repeat Y and enter. Then type in your password. And it is going to install some of the most commonly used packages that you will probably need on your computer. Now it's going to show you a list of those packages. You press Y and enter to continue. And this might take a little while, depending on your internet connection. If you have a slow internet connection, you may want Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet. Now it wants to install Microsoft Core Fonts for some proprietary purposes. We're going to go ahead and uh, hit the tab key to select it and then use the right and left keys and press enter. All right, so here's where we're going to install the live DVD CSS2. And then if we enable automatic updates, we'll make sure it's updated so you can always play your DVD videos. So do you want to install Google Chrome? I'm not going to go into the reasons why or why not or any of these services because I don't support them. But if you want to, you hit yes and hit enter for continue. Download Chrome. We're going to accept and install, but this time we are going to tell it to save it to the computer. Go ahead and open the directory that it is in. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to right click on this and hit open with GBW Package Manager. We're going to tell it to install the package and it's going to ask us for our password. We type in our password. We can check automatically close after changes have taken place. Now that the installation is complete, we can go ahead and close this window and we can close Firefox and resume our installation. So now it's going to ask if you want to install NVIDIA or ATI graphics card, any kind of proprietary graphics that are automatically installed by Ubuntu Mate. And so we're going to go ahead and hit yes. And you'll also find free software drivers available as well, depending upon your hardware. So what you can do here is you can choose between the different graphics drivers and other types of drivers for hardware that you might want to use. And once you select one that you believe you want, just go ahead and hit apply changes. Now you want to make sure with your hardware manufacturer that you do have the right driver selected before you apply changes. Otherwise, you may restart your computer and find out that the graphics won't work or anything. You just have a black screen. And if you don't know how to uninstall them through the terminal, 
then you're probably going to have to start this whole installation process over from the beginning of the video and either choose a different driver next time or just leave it alone. Once you're done, you apply changes and hit close. Now it's going to ask if you want to install Steam games. Steam for Linux allows you to install a lot of games. In fact, and also in beta mode, Steam beta mode, with I believe it's Proton, you can install games for Windows on Steam and have a lot of compatibility. So that's pretty awesome. If that's something you want to do, go ahead and press Y for yes. Then enter your password again if you need it at any time. During this installation, it may ask for your password again. Now it's asking for all of these packages that it needs to install Steam. So we're going to hit yes, Y and enter. If you're looking for the Google Chrome icon after you've installed Google Chrome, just go to start, go to internet, and you'll see Google Chrome um, right here underneath Firefox and now Steam because it's installing Steam. But wait for Steam to install before you try to launch it. I'm going to thank you for installing JU Linux. May Jesus bless you. Do you want to donate to JU Linux? If you do, type Y for yes or N for no and press enter. So Y for yes. Okay. And then it's going to take you um, to a PayPal me page where you can give a donation. And so we thank you for that. And once you've closed Firefox, eventually this installer will automatically close on its own. Or you can just close it using the X in the upper right hand corner. There it goes, it went away on its own. Now you can click on the software updater. You will find usually that when you install J Linux, updates are available. And so it is going to bring up this uh, software updater here. And you can go through this list of updates, make sure that the updates that you want, that you agree with. After you've made sure of that, you can hit install now or remind me later or change the settings. So we're gonna go ahead and hit install now. And apparently it doesn't need me to type my password. Usually you have to type your password in. Now it is installing updates. All right. So now that it's done doing the updates, it, it's going to recommend you restart your computer because it's likely installed a new version of the kernel or something else. So we're going to go ahead and hit, ahead and hit restart now. Again, it says JLinux 19.04, even though this is 20.04, uh, release candidate one. And now we have a different uh, startup menu. Now we've finished installing, we've installed our updates and I didn't hit tab to get here. It just automatically brought me here. So we're going to go ahead and just hit Ubuntu because this is based on Ubuntu Mate. It's a altered version of Ubuntu Mate. All right, so thank you for choosing uh, justuselinux.com. I hope you enjoy it. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the almighty one true God? If you do, go to christiancourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audio book, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law and communities all across the world. God bless you. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. Now you're playing with power, super power.
and I want to talk to you guys about how you guys can start making money today from home because there's a lot of people out there, the lockdowns and stuff, losing their jobs, layoffs, whatever, and they want to make money from home. How can you do that and get started today? If you're on YouTube, uh, it can take a while to get approved, even on Twitch, but if you join Libre, Using the link in the description of the video, you don't even have to make videos to get paid. You can just watch videos here on Libre and you can get paid. It tells me that I can earn rewards if I were to just watch videos here on this platform. This is the Linux app version of uh, Libre. So as you can see, there are lots of channels to choose from, lots of videos, lots of good content. And you can go to following so you can see the channels that you you can see up here in the upper right hand corner, it says I have 304.53 LBC. And so that can be used to promote my videos or I can cash it out. Today, I want to talk to you guys about how you guys can get free cell phone service if you can't pay your cell phone bill, whatever. So it doesn't matter if you are a new customer or an existing customer. You can get points here. I have 7,746 points. That is enough points for me to get free service next month. In fact, it shows it right here uh, on this little graphic they're showing right here. It says global calling card 1,000, one gigabyte add ons 1,000, 45 dollar service plan is 4,500 points, but I can actually get a service plan for 4,000 points. I don't have to spend 4,500. And then 6,000 point, uh, something about add a phone number, something like that, I think. Uh, you can actually use these points to buy, to, to get money off your phone. You can cash in points for dollars off an upgrade or a gift promo to somebody else. Here's my referral code right here. This is going to get you um, free service. If I invite just one of you, one of you uses my referral code up here. And again, let's say you already have Straight Talk service and you want to use this referral code. All you got to do is find someone else that doesn't have Straight Talk, have them create an account for you and uh, sign up with them. Uh, with straight talk and get your get your phone and then you can use this code and get free service and you'll have to wait like a month to 60 days to redeem that service after you've started straight talk but you get 5,000 points just for signing up i'll get 5,000 points now if two of you sign up then i will get 9,000 points and you each of you will get 6,000 straight talk points which is great okay if five or more of you sign up i will get uh, 12,000 straight talk points and each of you will get 8,000 uh, straight talk points. So that's that would mean each of you could get two months of free service, like the $35 a month service that I'm getting. You guys could do that. Or if you have a home phone plan that's like $17 a month uh, with tax, you could use you know your points probably to get a uh, service for that too, buy your new phone, uh, whatever. And then of course here, uh, you could also get featured on a straight talk site as being the, the rock savings rock star, you know, somebody who just refers tons of people all the time. So that's uh, that's what you want to do. And then, of course, once you get your account, you can create a referral code, too. And I don't think I'll learn anything from that. But you guys can can create a referral code, send it to your friends or family and have them sign up for straight talk and then you will get free service as well the chickens have taken over my youtube channel they're in control they're in control of the camera i need your help so make sure that you give to my patreon and give into all their demands check out all my my links in the description subscribe quick because if you don't the, i don't know what they're going to do next they're getting really restless you can hear them they're trying to they're, doing, they're working on something over there. I, I heard them rumbling around. Anyways, I need your help because these guys are serious, okay? The, the killer attack chickens have taken over my YouTube channel. So I really need you guys' help. You can really help give my Patreon. Check those links in the description of the video. Go to Blazing Hogs and get some Blazing Hog internet, okay? You got to do it. You got to do it quick because these guys, they're, they're not kidding around. Look at that look. He's serious. He's very serious, okay? He's not taking no guff. So you guys better take these chickens seriously and give them to their demands. All right. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.